Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to Movement Shoes. Uh, today we're going to be going over if you should buy Adidas Ultra Boost. They're all the same, the colorways don't really matter that much, but there is the 1.0s and the 2.0s. Now I'm going to be going over the triple white 2.0s, if you should buy, if you should sell, or if you should stock them. I'm going to be going over an in-detail review of the 2.0s right now, and a review of the 1.0s will be coming out later this week. And also later this week, I'm going to be doing a comparison of the 1.0s to the 2.0s to get you guys a better look. Let's get right into the video. So the packaging with the 2.0s is uh, pretty much the exact same uh, with the 1.0s, uh, despite the fact that the side tab is differently, obviously, because it's a different shoe. So going into the packaging, and it's the exact same wrapping paper as the 1.0s, the shoes are obviously different because uh, they have a little different specs. I'm going to be going over that today. So I'm going to put the flash on for the rest of this video just to get a, diff a better lighting angle and uh, to really reflect off the 3M. So to get off the bat, the first thing that comes with the 2.0s is the Continental Rubber on the bottom. Uh, so this is a tire company actually that made this. It's a tire company for like vehicles like cars and stuff like that. So uh, you automatically have a really nice grip on the bottom of these shoes. I have worn these, but you can barely tell that I have. But uh, it really sticks to the ground, and I say sticks, it like sticks. It's not like you're going to be unable to move or anything, but I mean, these shoes just like, you can definitely tell there's some sort of grip. With the 2.0 Triple White, you have the different style effects here. On the other ones, you had a black and a silver one. On this one, you have a silver and gold uh, emblem. Let me see if I can get up to there. As you can see, it's somewhat gold. I don't know if the camera really picks it up that well, but the Ultra is definitely a chrome, and this is definitely a gold. These shoes can get really pricey. I mean, that, they go for about 180, but when you get shipping and all, I've seen them go for about 200. These in, in my hand right now were about $207 because I had to get them shipping, and I got them on the very first release date. One of the main things you'll notice besides the uh, um, on the 1.0s is that the material that they use here is a lot different. This is the prime knit material, and on the other one they had kind of a soft mesh material. And uh, this material runs up all the way through here, and this material is also just a little differently on the uh, 1.0s. And on the 1.0s, for the triple white you had the black bottom, and on these you have the white bottom. And on the 1.0s you had kind of a yellow little cream speckles in here. But on this one, you have just ice white with the gray. I get asked this a lot, if the boost on the bottom really does work, and the answer is yes, it really does work. They put a lot of technology into the shoe, and that's why I think it has such a pricey number on the uh, on the MSRP of it, or whatever you want to call it, uh, coming in at like $180 plus tax, plus shipping, plus handling, and, and all that good stuff. Recently, these shoes have been put into a lot of malls and on Foot Locker's website. Uh, I got these when everybody wanted these and they weren't in stores or anything like that. You can only get them on the release date, and I got these on the release date. And I am going to be wearing these shoes because I feel like they are really comfortable. Now uh, the 3M is the same on uh, this one and the 1.0 because this is also a alert to cars to watch out because this was basically built as a running shoe. And like I said earlier about the Continental Rubber on the bottom, this is a car company, and the little tag here says, uh, get your grip, and it's showing sun rain and snow so that'd be really interesting to test out in the winter time uh, if these shoes actually do grip to the different surfaces like they say they're going to another difference on the 2.0s besides the 1.0s is this little black piece right here this black piece on the 1.0s was a lime green and i think they did a really nice job with this because i really did hate the lime green because i didn't think it really went well so the main reason you guys are here is to figure out if you should buy these or you should stock them or you should sell them and personally, I think you should buy them and wear them. Uh, even though they do get a little pricey, um, they are really worth it, honestly. Because I've, I've had everything from the Lunars to ever, everything like that in Nike's collection. But personally, I think Adidas is doing very well this year in all their shoes. But people want these shoes because Kanye West did wear the 1.0s. I don't believe he wore the 2.0s, but he did wear the 1.0s. So that's where this shoe got a lot of hype from. I don't think it'd be as hype if Kanye West did not wear them. Again, thank you for watching this video. More videos will be coming out soon. If you did not know, please check out my eBay account to buy all of these types of shoes. It is gonna be Movement Shoe Sales on eBay, so you're gonna have to type in seller, semicolon, Movement Shoe Sales, and I will also link it in the description.
Please make sure you also follow my Twitter and Instagram. That's going to be at Move. Enjoy this video. Please subscribe to it. It really helps me out a lot. And like it and comment your feedback on the shoe I should do next. Who I should do next. Again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.